Hey guys, it's Slushy. Today I'm going to be playing Driving Speed 2. This is a free indie racing game uh, developed by Wheelspin Studios. They're an Australian development team based in South Australia, Adelaide. The game features two tracks. You've got Adelaide Raceway and you've got, um, oh sorry, the Adelaide Street Circuit and Mount Panorama Bathurst. Uh, it's got a bunch of Australian cars. They're called different names to what they're really called because they don't have the official manufacturer's license, but you know, you can still recognize what the cars are. The models are quite good. Uh, I was pretty surprised. The graphics in this aren't too bad, and the physics are really fun. It's, um, I play with traction control off and manual gearbox, and yeah, you can have up to 11 opponents. I'm only going to use six for the video just in case it lags. I'm not, I don't think it will, but just to make sure, Fraps seems to use a fair bit of resources. So yeah, um, Bathurst Mount Panorama is a track that when I used to play Forza 3 on Xbox 360, um, this track was requested a lot by the users. It's, it's a bit of a legend, it's a legendary motorsport track in general, but especially with Australian motorsport fans, and it's really good to get an opportunity to race around, especially for free, especially the fact you can do, you know, lands with your friend, um, if you've got Hamachi, you can, wow, this is loud. So if you've got Hamachi or something, you could um, play it that way as well. Uh, you can have up to, I think, about 10 laps, so it'd be like a 20 minute race, which would be pretty good. Uh, I found the AI to be quite good. They don't, like, hit your purpose, unlike some other games. And, yeah, they tend to act kind of realistically. For a free game, you can't complain, that's for sure. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing this. Yeah, I found that the um, the engine sounds are quite good. Not too bad at all. The main, I think they're all V8, so... Uh, there's also a version of this called... Driving... Driving Speed Pro, I think it is. And it's got more more tracks and more cars unlockable. But you have to um, buy... I think it's a $9 license to get it. Or $10 to buy the game, maybe. Alright, and I want to say that um, I'm using the PlayStation 3 controller and using a program called Joy to Key and it translates your keyboard strokes uh, what would normally be keyboard strokes to the, to the controller Anyway, I've made a profile for it and if anyone uses it, I'll put a link to that in the description as well to save you making another one uh, The only problem is with this joystick I'm using it's not calibrated properly no matter what I do, I can't calibrate it and when I turn left or right, sometimes the brakes come on at the same time. Makes it a little hard. Wow, what's whoa, stay off the wall. It's pretty intense this track. Um, I made done a couple of laps of it. I wanted to get a bit better than this before the video, but then I just felt like sharing the video. So yeah, I wanted to get the word out. Even though I think it's a slightly old game now. Um, definitely worth playing, it's only like a 100 megabyte download and the track is you know, rendered quite nicely you can definitely recognise the different corners and stuff it looks just like on the TV far out, that thing's got some straight line speed hopefully I can get him in the corners because he that thing weighs, oh shit that thing weighs about 400 kilos more than my car so hopefully I can outbreak it whoa 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 <laughs> Or use it for break. Uh, I hate when people do that. Yeah, actually, I can't wait till I have the land at my house again. And, um, I'll definitely be trying this out in a land event. I think it'll be fun. So I'll nearly wrap up the lap here. It's not too bad a lap. Uh, I think, I can't remember the current lap record, but it's definitely a lot quicker than that. Oh yeah, alright guys, I'm gonna try and cause a big smash, but that didn't work. Um, oh yeah, I might as well show you while I'm here, the, uh, the smoke particle effects are pretty good. You can definitely do a decent burnout. I hate when you play a game and it's meant to be a simulator, and a car with 400 horsepower won't even do a decent burnout. But yeah, this is pretty good. Um, I might quickly show you some driving speed pro as well. So I'll just quickly show you the extra cars that are available in Driving Speed Pro. 
there's the uh, V8 Brute Utes, so there's the Ford and the Holden Utes. There's also some old, I think it's an old Charger and the new Chargers. Uh, there's 13 cars in all, there was only 5 in um, driving speed 2. Also I'll show you what, uh, what the new tracks look like. Although there's only one available in this demo. So if you're only going to get the free version you might be better off to get driving speed 2. But if you're going to buy it, well, you haven't got the option to buy the other one, but yeah, if you want to, if you've got some money to put down for a racing game, um, there's like five or six tracks here, and this one here is called Corsa Valley. I'm not sure what this is really based on. I'm not that much of a V8 supercar fan. I'm sure my friends could tell me what this track is. Yeah, so the graphics are pretty much the same. I think they're slightly better. You've got some more options in the settings. And yeah, I won't take it for another lap because I'm actually running out of time to render this. I can only do pretty small clips because my upload speed is terrible and it takes a long time. Uh, and I forgot to mention that it also supports 360 controllers. So if you've got a 360 controller, just plug it straight in. It'll support it out the box. So it'll be really good. If you're a racing fan, definitely check it out. Catch you next time. Have fun. I might just rip a quick burnout. Can't help myself.